How did you discover Phil then? When I got diabetes, Phil Taylor used to come in my pub, got me at Burstham. He used to live down, down the street. And then I used to, once I got the diabetes, I, had to, I was practicing five, six hours a day to try and get rid of it. You know, that's my job. And everybody I played with, I'd play with, they say, I'll, I'll practice with you to try and get you through it. But I'd play with them for three, three hours. And then people, they get tired. I mean, they, they do, they just get tired. And in the end, Phil said, I'll practice with you. And, and, I, and I practiced with him like three or four hours in the afternoon. Then he went home and had tea and whatever else. And come back. And I said, I'll see you at seven o'clock at night. And he'd come in at night from seven to 11. We'd play for another four hours. And he just didn't get tired. And he was just learning all the time. And we'd, we'd play finishes. And then he'd go my way at finishing and things like that. And then and he'd play for gate legs of 501. And he just, he was like a sponge. He just wanted to learn. You know what I mean? And you, and you can see him get better and better. He'd ask him questions and this, and what's he like? And was he, you know, if you played him, what's, what's he, the easiest way to beat him? And he, he was just asking all, all good questions, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And I was enjoying it. And so in the end, I just sponsored him and took him around the world for mm. two or three years. To cut a long story, story short, he kept losing first round in, in America and Canada and got upset about it, you know, which was rightly so. Yeah, yeah. And that, people used to laugh, say, so you don't sponsor him, he's useless. You know, what are you wasting your money for? We'll see, we'll see how much I'm wasting my money in the end. And he, he played well in the end. And uh, well, the rest of it is history, isn't it? Is he the best player you've ever seen? Ah, consistent wise, you can't argue with him. No. I mean, I always say, if you're looking at people, um, you've got to look, you know, what, I always say, what have they won? You know, you look at Phil's resume, I mean, it's ridiculous. 13 times world champion, all these other tournaments, five, eight times. It's incredible. Brilliant averages. So many nine dark 501s on TV. I mean, the man speaks for himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, I, uh, and he's going to win this one as well. You reckon? Oh, yeah. And he's without a shadow of a doubt. And I think the only one he's got to watch, well, there's a lot of players he's got to watch, but I think his main contender is a guy called James Wade, okay. who's playing very well.